Hello everyone! It's Rachel here. First of all, I just wanted to apologize for my voice sounding like this. I have been sick for a couple days now. I don't know if it's like allergies or what it is. All day at school, I kept having this thing where it would feel like I needed to sneeze, but it like never came out. And then it would make my eyes all red. And people kept coming up to me like, Oh, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. So yeah, sorry about that. But today in this video, I am going to talk about memorizing. So I'm going to be giving you five ways or five of my tips on how you can memorize scripts and monologues. So I'm going to be telling you guys my strategy on how I memorize scripts and monologues, but I'm also going to be telling you about four other different ways that you can memorize scripts and monologues. Everybody is different when it comes to memorizing stuff, so you never really know which one will work for you unless you give them a try. So let's just hop on in. So first of all, I just have a couple of points to tell you guys before you start memorizing. Before you jump into it and start memorizing right away, make sure you read the script or monologue. I know that might sound like an obvious, but I know sometimes I just want to jump right into the first line and start memorizing it before I've even read the whole script. But it is very important to read the whole script or monologue before you start memorizing so you know the story and you know the character in order to know why you are saying the lines that you are. So make sure you read the script or monologue a couple times before getting started with memorizing. Second point, give yourself time to memorize. You don't want to wait till the last minute, like 30 minutes before an audition or whatever you need it for to memorize a script or monologue. It's kind of just like school when it comes to memorizing. If you're like studying for a test at like 12 o'clock a.m., which is what I usually do because I procrastinate way too much when it comes to studying for tests. But it's hard to cram all that information into your brain. I know we've all experienced something like this where you're just like, why can't I just remember this? Like, but yeah, so just make sure you give yourself enough time to memorize so you don't stress yourself out. And the third one, highlight your lines. I know this might sound like an obvious thing to do, but highlighting your lines is especially useful when it comes to a script because you don't want to get your lines confused with your partner's lines and accidentally memorize one of their lines because you didn't highlight it or something like that. And it's especially useful if you bring the script with you when you're doing the audition or if you're in an acting class or whatever and that's what you need the script for because that way your lines pop out at you and especially if you're like in the middle of a scene and you're like trying to find your lines and stuff, you can narrow it down if all your lines are highlighted. So highlight your lines. Have I really been out of focus this whole time? Uh... All right, so next let's hop into actually memorizing and my techniques that I have to give you guys. The first one, which is what I personally use to memorize my scripts and monologues, is to go line by line. If it's a monologue, read the first line and then repeat it over and over again. So what I do is I read the first line of a monologue and then I repeat it over and over again until it's pretty much drilled into my brain. And then I go to the next line and I memorize that line and repeat it over and over again and stuff. Then I put the two lines together and memorize those two. And then there you have it, you have two lines memorized already for your monologue. And then just go to the third line and memorize that and add it to the chunk and then you'll have that little section memorized and so on and so forth. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. So just for a quick example, I have my little monologue book that I recommended to you guys in my last video. So I just flipped to pretty much a random page in here. This is no specific monologue or anything, but it's called The True Test. So the first line of The True Test is, I knew I had plenty of time, so I went back. I knew I had plenty of time, so I went back over to the desk and opened the drawer. I knew I had plenty of time, so I went back to the desk and opened the drawer. I knew I had plenty of time, so I went back to the desk and opened the drawer. I knew I had plenty of time, so I went over. Oops. I knew I had plenty of time, so I went back to the desk and opened the drawer. So once I have that line memorized, I'm gonna go to the next one. The next line is, but then I thought about what my yoga teacher had said. But then I had thought about what my yoga teacher had said. But then I had thought about what my yoga teacher had said. So now I'm gonna try to combine the two. I knew I had plenty of time, so I went back over to the desk and opened the drawer. But then I thought about what my yoga teacher said. So then I would memorize the next line and combine it and so on and so forth. 
So yeah. With the script, you're pretty much doing the same thing, but you have to take in consideration that there is another person's line in between yours. But again, take it line by line. Make sure you got one line before you move on to the next. I keep getting so distracted. I'm like staring out the window. Oh my gosh. Also just wanted to throw this out there. I knew I wanted to put this point in somewhere throughout the video, but I didn't know where. Make sure you memorize your partner's lines as well. This will help you out so much. Obviously, I'm talking about if you're memorizing a script. If you know the cue lines, it'll make it a lot easier to know when you're coming in. So when it's like a script, make sure you memorize it all together. Obviously, you're going to want to know which lines are yours, but you know what I mean. Make sure you have a pretty good idea about what your cue lines are, your partner's lines, so you know when to come in. So I have like this random script. I literally just pulled it out of like my script folder. So it's just like a random one. It's not even like a favorite of mine it was one of my recent ones that I did in an acting workshop. The first line is, hello, Mr. M. And then the line following, which is another character's, says, hello, Tracy. So, hello, Mr. M. And then I know in my mind that his next line is, hello, Tracy. So, my next line is, I'm looking at new cars. Hello, Mr. M. I'm looking at new cars. So I kind of took time, I paused, and I knew what his line is. That way I knew when to come in with my next line. And I hope I'm not being too vague on like the script thing, like memorizing the cue lines and everything, but I think you guys get where I'm going with that. So yeah, that's the first technique. Repeat over and over and then combine. Like I said, that's the one that I use to memorize and stuff. My second technique for you guys is to read it, read it, read it, read it, read it over and over again. I've heard this helping for people a lot sometimes, but basically just read the script, the whole script over and over again. And that's another good way to like know the cue lines, I guess, if you have trouble with that, because you're reading the whole script. So you're reading your lines, but also your partners. It's not necessarily like the repeat kind of memorizing, but it's like memorizing because you are reading it over and over again and it stays in your head. So that's the second one. Three, record yourself doing the script or monologue on your iPod or whatever and listen to it. It's kind of almost like listening to a song. When you listen to a song over and over again on the radio or on your phone or your iPod or whatever, it gets in your brain. That's how we memorize the lines to songs and that sort of thing. So it's the same sort of idea. So just get your script and read your lines. You can either read all of the lines, so yours and your partner's, or you could just read your lines and give a space. That way, when you're listening to it, you know that your partner's line is there. And if you do that, once you get your lines memorized, then you can make a recording of your partner's lines and then do your lines along with the recording. Almost like a virtual script partner. So that is the third one. Four, this might be silly and I personally have never known anybody to memorize their lines this way, but I saw it online so I thought I might throw it out to you guys. Try singing your lines. It kind of goes along with the last technique. When you sing stuff, it just tends to get stuck in your brain and so it's kind of the same sort of thing. So if you think it might work for you, give it a try. And five, write out your lines repeatedly. So I guess this is kind of like once you have a pretty good idea of your lines in your brain. So instead of saying your lines and messing them up all the time because you don't have them exactly, try to just get a pen and paper and just write out the whole script or just write out your lines. I actually did this once, I remember when I was in a science class because I was getting ready for an audition after school. My kitty's freaking out because I locked her in my room. You want to see my kitty? Hi! But yeah, so hopefully you guys learned a technique that helped you with memorizing your lines. But now I'm going to talk about some things to help you get your cue line. Like I said, make sure you memorize the cue lines also. And I said you can record their lines so you can practice with it. Before you go in for the audition or the acting workshop, practice the lines with somebody. Have your friend go through the script with you and read your partner's lines. Also some other things to consider. I said this in my last video, but make sure you don't memorize the lines too much. Just memorize the lines. Don't memorize your emotion. That way you can react according to how your partner says the lines. That way it seems more real. Trust me, it'll help you interact with your partner. Obviously you can think about the emotion, but don't set it to stone. 
Also, if you don't know where to find scripts and monologues, I will put some of my recommendations in the description box below. My favorite one is MockSides.com. They have a bunch of awesome film scripts. So check that out and also the ones below. Also these monologue books. This one is called Sugar and Spice, 100 Monologues for Girls by Mary Deppner. And this one's called Magnificent Monologues for Teens by Chamber Stevens. So these monologue books are pretty cool if you want to find some. So check these out also. So like I said, I'll have some links in the description bar for you guys to find those websites so you can get monologues and scripts. Mm -hmm. So yeah guys, that was this video. I hope you guys found a technique that works for you. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly acting videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!